Well, everyone, it is finally here. Fast and Furious 23 has officially hit theaters. Or was it 24? And honestly, I forget. They've made so many movies. All the cars, explosions, and the three bald men are really just jumbling together right now. But yeah, guys, Fast X is finally here, so let's talk about it. Now I get it, this franchise has been going on for like 20 years now and these movies can get pretty repetitive at points, and sure, they've had their ups and downs. But honestly, I do really think that this was just a fun movie overall and the action was just amazing. It's just a fun watch, especially with the family. I don't have friends, I got family. And you don't even really have needed to watch the other ones to get a full grasp of it. But let's talk about those characters because they went all out with them on this one. And considering this is the beginning of the end, they had to bring it all in with the characters. I will say though, it was kind of odd having the car that drove itself, and it was weird when I occasionally heard a voice just come out of nowhere. <laughs> Jokes aside though, my two personal favorites of this movie were John Cena's Jacob Toretto and Jason Momoa's Dante Reyes. Jacob just got me laughing with pretty much every joke line he said, and he was just a fun character to watch on the screen, and his sacrifice was definitely very sad. Then again, these movies seem to bring everyone back at some point, so we'll see how that goes. And then with Dante Reyes, you can just tell Jason Momoa had such a fun time playing this character, and he really plays this role of a crazy villain so well, it's so funny sometimes, but yeah, he was great. Rowan Pierce and Ted Parker were absolutely hilarious together, and of course, Vin Diesel's Dom Toretto is just a classic. I will say I would have liked to see more of his sister Mia Toretto on screen, especially since she was such a major character in the first few movies. And as much as I enjoyed Letty's side story, I'm hoping we see her and Dom together a bit more in Fast 11 and 12. Oh, and speaking of Letty's side story, spoilers here, but apparently Gal Gadot's Giselle Yashar is back? Yeah, that surprised me a ton, and it was super random, but yeah, that's what I mean by how this franchise cannot seem to keep anyone dead, so we'll see what they do with this. But I cannot leave the characters section without talking about the return of one of my favorite actors, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, back as Luke Hobbs in the mid credit scene. And wow, this got me so hyped, and I'm hoping that he plays a huge part in the next couple movies. And how about that? They're all back together. And we cannot go without talking about that massive cliffhanger ending. That was absolutely insane, and actually reminded me a lot of Avengers Infinity War. Pretty much all of Don's friends are presumed dead, the villain has won, but at the very end we get that spark of hope setting up Fast 11. It definitely gets me excited and curious as to what will happen next. Now the soundtrack in my opinion wasn't super impressive this time around, I mean I'm still waiting for them to bring back Go Hard or Go Home. But hey, that's what's great about this finale being a three-parter, they can always amp up the soundtrack in the future movies. And the very last thing I want to cover is how there have been talks that even after this three-part finale, they're going to make even more spin-offs for this franchise. Oh boy, here we go again. Alright, I mean, I like this franchise and all, it's fun and I love the action, but I will say that you gotta know when to stop, and the only spinoff I would really even want would be a Hobbs and Shaw sequel. But we'll see how that all goes when we get there, cause it's still a little while away. So yeah, overall, while this one isn't my absolute favorite of the franchise, it's still great and I think it's an overall super fun watch that keeps this action-filled franchise alive and I'm super excited for the future of Luke Hobbs. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry this video is kind of late and a bit short. Alright, thank you all and we'll see you in the next one.